Right! Super Junior Pac-Man, yes you did. Yes. Yes you did. You made it just on time. Uh, your pack fact, I actually had some prepared for you this time because I looked them up. Uh, but your pack fact this time is that the original Pac-Man pack dots are only worth 10 points. But did you know that in Pac-Mania they're worth 60? Crazy. I see we're working on microwave streaming role players game. Yes, yes we are. Done some things. I've done a few things. Not a whole bunch of things, but some things. Some things. <clears throat> We've done some stuff. How's everybody doing tonight? I see Molly. I see Joey. Hi, Joey. Hello, Super Junior Pac-Man. And hello, Donnie. Yes, Donnie, I know that you're something for Bowser. That much is obvious. I saw you screaming about it in Linux's chat. <clears throat> and I saw you screaming about it on Twitter. So, um... Yeah. Good for you. I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Exitron, the cats are mostly getting along now. That's so good. I'm so happy. I am very, very happy to hear that. That's great. I figured they would. Ry uh, not Riley. Um, Dargo doesn't really look like the type that's going to be super aggressive or anything. And Riley is just kind of a scaredy cat. So just took them a little bit to getting used to each other. The movie does look really promising. I, I'm In case you guys haven't seen it, the Super Mario Brothers trailer dropped today. Um... It looks very good. Uh, Bowser especially looks fantastic. Kamek looks really, really good too. Luigi looks fantastic. All of them sound great. Everything in the movie looks good. Mario sounds like Chris Pratt. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like Chris Pratt is trying. It just sounds like Chris Pratt. As I told uh, Linux earlier, I was like, it sounds like Chris Pratt with like a 5% accent. Like 5%. I was like, could you try a little bit harder? Like, Jack Black, you can kind of tell, but that sounds like Bowser. Like, he did a really good job on that. Why do you pronounce Kamek's name so funny? What are you talking about? Well, how is it supposed to be? I thought it was Kamek. Is there anywhere where they, it's pronounced? Like, Kamek. Cam Kamek? You pronounce it Kamek? I don't know, I pronounce it Kamek. Oh, is there a game where where he's playable and they like like an announcer says his name? Like is there an official pronunciation for it? I feel like there needs to be. Is there? Is there some, like, some, some gameplay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you pick him, he just goes, yeah! <clears throat> Kamek? How to pronounce Kamek, yeah. The fact that it looks like this Mario movie is going to be dark is honestly intriguing. Uh, I mean, I like, yeah, they did make him look a little younger, Molly. Yeah, right? If they did make him playable in Smash. How do you pronounce... Comic? <laughs> there's, there's like nothing on here. There's nothing on here. Hang on, what if we just did a Google search? Uh, Mario Wiki. Does it have anything in there? No, there's nothing in here on how he's pronounced. Concept and creation. He was just a magic Koopa back then. I swear there's no, there's nothing in the, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, you got me questioning it now, but I don't think, I don't think there's anything that's saying that, like, 
Like here, let's let's look at this video of this guy, right? Hey Tiger, how's it going? Kamek, the magic Koopa Kamek. in the right hand of Bowser. He is seen in quite a lot of Mario games as an eyesore and an enemy for Mario. But what is the history behind this Mario? I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, I just wanna see what other people say. Doggo! Now that I have your attention, I want to announce something. I finally oh, is this the have same guy? a P.O. box. One Why does this guy have two videos on Kamek? Why? <laughs> okay, somebody's a little, uh... Somebody's a little, uh... Obsessed. I don't want to watch that. I don't know what's going on there. I don't want to watch that either. Wait, that's Life Hero. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> like, what was my- what was- what, what was my choice? No. Nah. Nah. Yeah, that's right. Why is it got a freaking Illuminati or a dollar bill eyeball in the middle of it? <laughs> Weird. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Anyway, I don't care anymore. I'm over it. I'm over it. I don't care. That was a pretty good snipe. That was a pretty good snipe, yep. Um, so let me show you what I've been working on here for the game. Um, so first of all, uh, we got... If we go and play it here... Um, we've got uh, enemy names now that appear on the screen. We talked about this on the last time we worked on the game. Uh, but now there are enemy names that appear underneath the enemy. Um, so you'll see here, Shroomling. And it, it shows that on the screen for a little bit and then it goes away, especially when the enemy dies in one hit. Um, Tartamagus. I should make it go away a little bit faster on the first one. I feel like the first one, it stays on there for too long. So that's kind of cool. Um, let me see something here. When does that stay on the screen? Monster name. Settings menu equals zero, pause equals zero. Okay, so that's it. So what we need to do <clears throat> is make it so it doesn't appear. I think I made it so it appears. We should make it so when the dungeon door closes, it reappears. Right? Set pause to zero. Yeah, right then. Okay. So we're gonna do. We're gonna go. Uh, visibility, make object reappear. Um, and that's on here, right? Trying to see if that works. Okay, so what if we make it invisible at the beginning of the make it initially okay, it is invisible at start. Okay. Uh let's try it again here. It's not K Mech. It might be K Mech. I've just always pronounced it Kamek. I don't know. There's no there's no official pronunciation out there that I know of. Maybe there is. Okay, it still has it at the beginning, and that's because slot set stats is on. Um, so let's see here. So we're doing this here when set stats is on. We're turning, or re, we're reappearing that. But I think what we need to do instead is make it so that, um, Witchy Koopa. <laughs> 
I mean, it may be Kamek. Cam, Kamek? Kamek? Um, because they have one later on named Kami Koopa. So Kami, Kamek. So I don't know. I've probably been pronouncing it wrong. I can change. I can learn things. I can adapt and change my mindset. I'm not stuck in my ways. Hansel? 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 Fucking love that. It's one of my favorite things from old um, Looney Tunes cartoons. GamerBoy1325, thank you for the follow! I appreciate it so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Um, what was I doing? Hi, uh, Gamer Boy. Um, we do like Gamer Boys. What am I working on here? Okay, so how do we start our timers? Okay, better yet, here's a better question. When do we set pause to zero after defeating enemies and gaming XP? Set pause to one. There's got to come a point in time when we set pause to zero, right? That's that. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. Um... That's the start of the game. You've been watching Looney Tunes a lot lately. I am actually a little jealous. I don't know why. I feel like I should I should watch some Looney Tunes as well. Set pause to one. Wait, we don't ever set pause to zero. Wait. We don't ever set pause to zero when we defeat N or to one, do we? Yeah we do. Okay, so we set pause to one. When we set pause to one, when I'm not gonna be in here loading monster day. It's nothing in here. When do we, when do we set pause back to zero? Hello. Do we not? No, we gotta. There ain't no way. Okay, hang on. I didn't mean to run the whole game, but whatever, that works. We're gonna look at our global values. So right now, pause is set to one, okay? Pause is set to one right up here. There's a pause setting? Yes, there is. Okay, pause gets set to zero, cool. Pause is still zero. So the only time it ever gets set to one is when you actually do this. Oh, it doesn't even get done there. Okay, so it doesn't get set to one. Okay, fantastic, interesting. Um, I think what we should do instead is in the feeding enemies and gaining XP, we've got a thing down here that's setting new monster when we we set this there. And I think what we're gonna do is, where's my monster name text? Here it is. On this, we're gonna go visibility make object reappear here. So instead of having it reappear at the loading thing, I think I want to do that. Let's see what this does. How you doing tonight, Blaze? I hope you're having a good evening. No monster name. That was cool. It appeared on the screen like right when it... Oh.
What if we do... weird doing well trying to knock out these multiverses challenges i need to be doing that i haven't played multiverses since like a day before rick came out i haven't played it at all okay shrimling dead let's see if this works on the next one doing is making this oh because it's doing that afterwards because hmm. that happens shortly before Four. Mm. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. I didn't say I thought this was like done, and so, and in fact, it kind of is done. Um. I think I want to remove the one thing, too. Let's see something here. Let's do this. How about... How about we just make another event for this? Um, how about we just make another event for this? We're gonna go like this. We're gonna insert a new, or no, add a new condition. And we're gonna say, set stats. I don't know if that's actually gonna work, because that thing doesn't get created. When does the door get created? Game startup. It creates it pretty early on, doesn't it? It does. Okay, cool. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is do put a new condition on here and say um, compared to the number of dungeon door objects equals zero. Then we're going to visibility make object reappear. We're going to copy this and we're going to say is different than zero, then do not. And then we're going to go back up to where the door closes um, on game startup. And we're going to make Oh shit. Oh, hang on. Did I fuck that up? Where's the stuff go? Okay. Just move those up where they were before. There we go. 
um, do that, and then we're going to visibility make object reappear. Okay, does this work now? What level are you in the uh, in the gamer pass, Blaze? I think I was like 27. It's still there. Ugh. Hmm. Now it looks worse. Now it looks worse. I may just leave it on there because like, honestly, it looks worse now. Like, I don't understand how it looks worse all of a sudden. I don't know why it's flipping. You know, it wasn't like flipping before. It's hard. You hit level 40? Dang, you are, you've been playing, you've been consistent on it. You see, that one says, that's fine, Shroomling. Fine. I may just leave it on there. Hmm. Or maybe make a thing, because it only gets, it only reappears. Here, let's do this. Should be able to get a little 50 by the end of the season. When's the season end? Is it next month? I thought it was next month. I'm going to really struggle. I'd love to get that Tom and Jerry skin. That's really the only one I want. I don't play Bugs, so, or LeBron. At least I haven't yet, so. They haven't really been too interesting to me, but um, Tom and Jerry skin I would like to get. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna... We're gonna make this event that's gonna say reappear. Right? Reappear, reappear. Ability, reappear. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is we're going to make an event. Um, I'm going to go insert a new event that's going to say, um, pick or count number of those equals one plus monster text is visible. Um, we're gonna have visibility make object invisible, invisible, and invisible. Does that work? Let's see if this works. Okay, cool, it's not there. Oh. Okay. We delete it, right? Or destroying it. What are we doing on the rest of this stuff here? I trade that equals that. Countdown. Okay, what about this? 
to activate to nine. How about we do this instead? Uh, replace this with... What is it? It's right here. Uh, replace... No, wait, that's fine. We're gonna say lower than 9. Let's try this instead. I didn't plan on spending this much time on this. I was I thought this was done. I thought this was a thing that I would had already done and I did not need to do anymore. Okay, no name on the screen. And it appears. Cool. And he's gone. And then it should appear here as well. Perfect. Now if we get all the way through this dungeon. Oh, a mini mimic. That's another thing we need to change tonight. I need to change how much damage an enemy does if they are basically doing no damage. Bat. And I think I figured out a way... I was actually talking to Linux about this a little bit ago. Um, I think I have figured out a way. I want to see something real quick here. Character, where's he at right now? EXP. Whatever, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I gave the, the health bar little horns. For the boss battle. Hmm. Can he do it? Just can't. Um, okay, so let's see if it runs again. You got New York Comic Con tomorrow? Nice, Justin, nice. Hey, Justin, if they have any of those special edition Tamagotchis, hit me up. Oh, no, why they get put way back there? Why is it behind? Oh shit. Okay, hang on. Um Okay, well what something that's gonna make this a little bit better is the other feature that I just finished, or not finished, but got somewhat done. Um, so I'm going to be putting a thing in the game where you can actually choose speed. So, uh, like if somebody has a lot of people in queue, for example, and wants to get through things really fast, look what they can do. This is double speed. Everything runs at double speed. Most things run at double speed. Like, there's some things that don't, like, um, like the numbers, the damage numbers don't. My god, he just destroyed that fucking Tornagus. Thing like I figured we could put in there so that way it um, helps to give a nice fast speed for um, sometimes if there's lots of people on stream or something. 
That still doesn't work properly, though. <laughs> the ending, I still need to fix that. But let's see here. I just want to make sure the name, the enemy names, goes on top of these background objects now. Of course, none of them are going to be right in front of it now, so. Come on. There we go. Cool. That's working properly then. Okay. Um, so, that's what I wanted to do. We got the name plate on the screen now. That's good. That looks good. Um, the speed up option is what I'm working on now. And so far, everything seems to be working fair. I had to go back and rearrange a bunch of, um, I had to go back and rearrange a bunch of the timing events to make sure that it didn't skip anything. But it seems to be working pretty good. Like you can even do, I think you can do three times speed. Let's see here. So if we do like three times. Fast. Okay, it's not good. <laughs> it's still broken. Um, yeah, I think I made all these just this stuff. That should be fine. It's more... It's the stuff down here at the bottom, the title cards. Um... <clears throat> oh, yeah, I didn't do this stuff here. That's what happened. These went on too fast. Um, so these, what these need to do is zero zero eight times um, timer speed. Weird that it just completely stopped it, though. Right? That was weird. Let's try it again. Because I know I've tried it at four times speed and it worked great. But I haven't ever tried it at three times. Did it again. Wonder why. It has to do with something with the layer one. This is getting created, right? Yeah, okay, so it's getting it's getting created. Oh, if he doesn't equal three one sixty. Is one sixty his resting position? Let's look at this here, actually. That's why, because these are all... Is that all this is, though? It's a move trigger? Okay, that's fine, then. So how about we do this? We're going to go edit this. This is going to be greater than or equal. And then we're going to say add a new condition plus... Flag is flag off, move trigger is off, set move trigger on. This one here, we're going to go greater than or equal here too. And then. Is it on, off, move trigger is off, set it on. Okay, what is this? Set walk to zero. Equals two twenty four.
we're gonna say greater than or equal to 224. And then we're gonna just to make sure that this goes in the right place, we're going to position set x coordinate to 224. Okay, I think I think that should work. Try it here on three times speed. I don't even know if I need three times speed, right? Like it could just do one, two, and four. I like how the thingies at the bottom hasn't gone away. Okay. <laughs> So there, there are some, there are some things with the speed that we have not. Um, there's some, there's some bugs with the speed that we have not fixed yet, which is fine. It's fine. That's what we're doing. We're fixing things, right? Where's the walk? in here? I thought it was in here. Or is it actually way up above? It might be way up above in startup. I think it is in here, isn't it? No, that's idle. Um, walk is actually down below, isn't it? Because it's when you're going between defeating units and gaining XP, yeah. So the animation is playing, that's fine. That seems fine. Which one is displaying more? I suppose is my question. Frame zero. So why are we not seeing frame one? This is divided almost in half. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause it here and we're gonna look at this actually. Because I don't understand why this isn't working. Where's the walk? Set to 18, it's fine. Goes back here. Three, six, nine. Why is he stepping back up at nine? How about we change this to instead of twelve? Why don't we change this to thirteen?
It looks the same. That didn't affect anything. That didn't affect a dang thing. Why? Why didn't that affect me? Oh, what I do? Shit. You know what? I'll figure that out in a bit. That's not that big of a deal to me. It's not a super huge thing. What's happening over here on Discord? Oh my god. Uh, what we need to do is find out why this other stuff isn't going away. The little blip bar and stuff. When do we make this stuff invisible? That's why. Defeat timer. Um. Hi, gay. We just need to go. Hi, Malt. How's it going? How you doing today? Visibility is visible. We're gonna go greater than or equal to 304. Alright, alright. Nice. It's good to have you here, Molt. Hope you're having a. I mean, you just said it's going alright. So, glad you're having an alright evening. Don't kill me! <laughs> hmm. Okay, so that works now. That's nice. That was easy. And I know I said I wasn't going to worry about it, but I am worried about it. Like, why... Why does the walk animation look so weird in threes? But in twos, it looks fine, right? In twos, it looks fine. And in fours, it looks fine. When you play in twos, we're working on speed options right now so that people can play through the game faster. See, that looked a lot better. So that works, but for some reason when you, and like, I think even when you put it in fours, it looks fine. It's really, really fast in four, but it works. Look how fast this is in four. Nyaaam. No, it doesn't look good in four, in four either. I like how he vibrates and plays. Okay, so it doesn't look any good in anything above three. Why is that? I'm... Uh, hmm. There's got to be something that's going on with this walk stuff here that's giving it a problem. I 
I think it's this right here. What if we do this? Let me force animation frame to frame one there. Because I think that's what's happening is that you're not getting that first frame. Yeah, that looks good. Look at him go! One other thing I want to see in here is something else, but what is this? My door... I gotta move this thing out of the way. My door dash, dasher delivered me the wrong food, like a lot more than I ordered. <laughs> She's on her way back, I think. I hope she doesn't try to talk to me. Oh, Molly. <laughs> the introvert's nightmare. You know, it's funny because, like, um, we were actually talking about you recently, Molly, about how fun it is to play Fortnite with you. Because you're just like, I don't know, it, you're so, you're so nonchalant, and you're just vibing the whole time you play. Like, you literally just have nothing but good vibes. Like, if if you get caught off, I love <laughs> the playing field. Like, the, if you, if you are caught off by yourself or something, or if you get into a dangerous situation, you just kind of go, oh no, and then, like... You just laugh when stuff happens. When we get into situations, you know, you just try your best and you're just helping out and you're just like, I don't know, it's, it is really, really enjoyable to play with you because it just doesn't feel like there's any sort of, like, pressure or um, any negativity, I guess, coming out from your way in regards to any of the situation that happens. You're just grooving and vibing with everything that goes on and it's so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's a vibe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my friends are getting attacked. <laughs> uh, but we had so much fun last night. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, so the one thing I do want to try here. Okay, so I think I got all of the speed up options thus far. So much corn. Um, speed up options I've, I've seen thus far is this. I think with the boss thing is going to fuck up. So let's see here. Yeah, last night was fun. <clears throat> I had a lot of fun. We got a couple wins! Alright, I want to see when the boss text appears if it fucks up. I have a theory that it's gonna fuck up. <laughs> Poor fucking turtle. Look, Molly, we put nameplates on the characters now. So when the characters appear, you get to see their name. This is why I'm afraid they're going to mess up. Bye! <laughs> Girl, bye! Yeah, they did. I knew they were going to mess up. I fucking knew they were going to mess up. She came back and just knocked and left the food? She left your food? Did she just... Did she not take back the... The food that she got wrong, I guess they can't really take it back, can they? It's like when you go to a fast food restaurant and they give you the wrong order and they're like... And they can't take back your, your old stuff. 
Wait, so you, you ordered Arby's. What did she bring you? What is happening? No idea. <laughs> Where are the bars at? There's the bars. Okay. So. I think what we're going to have to do. Four times bar movement. Add timer speed to bar movement. So. How does it even make sense the first time? Does it make sense the first time? Because three times four, what are we, we're trying to get to 32. 32 is not divisible by three. I think what I should do, what layer are these on? Yeah, I think what I should do is put another one here. This is what boss approach bar one. Or if we put another one here. That's the way they come in, right? Right? I like the speed up option because it lets us get to the end a lot faster. Of course, I can't just hit the C button. So those ones come in that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. This does not work right now. That doesn't work either. Okay, cool. Bugs. I was like, I need you to just go away. Why in the world did they do? Why in the fuck is. Okay. So that's not working as intended. For some reason, when it comes to threes, it goes a little crazy. She came back again? <laughs> oh no. Still no Arby's. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do here is we're gonna make a new alterable value in this. X pos, we're gonna say total X. That's what we're gonna call this. Um, and what we're gonna do here um, is we are going to, we're gonna go alter value We're gonna do this. We're gonna go alter value add to. Yeah, just add to. It's fine. Add to total x four times weapons timer speed. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Alterable value. I didn't do it, did I? I didn't do this one. And create an alterable value x or total x. Okay. Um, 
Multi value add to total x four times timer speed. Okay, you can do that. And then Visible. How long have I been working in this? Um, we started this in March of this year, but I took like a, a month or two break from game dev. Um, like I worked on it pretty heavy through March uh, and April. It was like the end of March, I think, when I started. So March and April and a little bit of May. And then I think the ending of May, June, and most of July, I didn't really work on any game dev. I only kind of got back to game dev in like August. So it's been maybe about, let's see, so what, two months at the beginning there, and then August, September, about four months is what we've been working on this on. Um, and four times time we're speed. But I mean, that's 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 game dev for you. Pac-Man 37 I've been working on for like five years. So. Um, definitely happens. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Time visibility timer that is greater than 250. Making it well, especially when you're by yourself, yeah. Wait, what? Okay, hang on. What is what's happening here? There's so much corn. <laughs> Gareth got so excited last night about the corn, you guys. He got so excited. I mean, you saw it in the Twitter video if you watched it. Hi, Gareth. How you doing? I don't understand why these are here. Because right here, current status of that. Hi. Hi, Queensy. Hi, Queensy. People who got my food brought me back my food. What the fuck is happening, Molly? What are you doing, huh? Hmm? Are you having a good night? What are you doing with your night? Hmm? You are such a sweetie. Yes, you are. I'm giving him pets. He loves it when I pet him and put my arm like up at this like here so he can rub his head on my arm while I'm petting him. Okay, I don't understand the purpose of this right here. We're making these things invisible. But I don't understand why these are here. Those don't need to be there, I don't think. Those do not need to be there because... Two twenty. We'll just make them invisible, it's fine. Um, I 
Okay. I got the wrong order. She came back. Knocked. Left. Came back again. Took their food. Didn't bring me my food. Neighbors just brought me food. <laughs> Wait, so she brought the food to your neighbors? Is that why you didn't get it? She's, she got, she's having troubles. Also, hey, Trashua, how you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful evening as well. It's good to see you. Oh, she mixed them up? Okay. She's having problems. She is having problems. This doesn't work then. Hang on. What am I doing with my life here? What I don't excuse me? Set X position to X plus 128, which makes him go that way. That way for you guys. And these ones are minus, which is fine. Okay, so it's doing that at the beginning. We're reappearing them and then making them move. Um... When do we... So I do need that. That's We're making them invisible, but setting them back at the beginning. What? How does any of this work? These are 64, right? I don't know. How's my code working? I don't understand how my code is working. What is happening? Set XPOS to X, but we're not referencing the XPOS at all. We're not referencing the XPOS at all. We're not referencing that value. We're just literally just... Yeah, I'm the same way, Gareth. I don't care about those skins either. I want to get the Tom and Jerry one, and I want to get some other stuff on the Battle Pass, because there are some things in there that I like. But, yeah, I don't... I, I feel like it's just slipping past me. There's too much shit going on. Thank you for the hydrate, though. I just drank a whole bunch of water, so I'm feeling kind of full of water, so... I, I'm, I'm having a little crisis here, because I cannot figure out what the fuck I'm doing. All right, so okay, so whenever the bar movement is lower <laughs> than big fart, whenever bar movement is lower than 32, we add timer speed to bar movement, which is fine. We set the position to that. Now, down over here, when it equals 250, set bar movement to zero. 
Oh, we're resetting it here. Mm -hmm. This still doesn't make any sense. 64 plus 64 is 128. And it's supposed to be moving 128. So this goes here, for example, it moves over to here, and then it goes, moves in 128 pixels. And then it moves over another 128 pixels. And then the start, it moves back over 128. How is this even functioning? This ain't this 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 ain't right. Something ain't right. And when they're visible, okay. Yeah, so this makes sense. Bar movement there gets hit there. They move out of the way. So they go out of the way again. That makes sense. Yeah, these don't make sense right here. Why do these have... Oh, you know what I think I did here? I fucked this up. I fucked this up. Okay. Okay, hang on. It's fine. I fucked this up in general. All right. So when I was doing the timer-based things, I messed this up. That's fine. I actually... This is totally what I wanted right here. Okay. Um, this should be plus... Um, what is it? This will be our total X. And this one should be... Physics! Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to go back down here. We're going to go to multiple value set, total x to zero, multiple value set, total x to zero. So we reset them at that point in time. Okay, I think, I think that should work. Unless I royally fucked it up more. You ate real corn tonight? I'm so proud of you. Corn's great. gonna do that it looks really bad don't worry don't worry about it all right let's see if it fixes itself here if it looks okay this way did not fix itself frickety d doesn't make sense, man, to me. Um, I think I'm gonna make a different, make a different flag down here. Flags, we're gonna make a flag called walk. 
sound. I'm tired of the walk sound not playing properly. I don't like how it's currently doing this. This is stupid. Let's just do this. I'll replace this with um This is going to be alterable value flag is a flag off walk sound is off. We're going to go flag set on walk sound. We're just going to get rid of this. And then when it hit, it's greater than or equal to 23, we're going to flag set off walk sound. And we're also going to put a new event in here on this where it says compared to a global value, pause equals zero as well. That way it stops doing that thing at the end. Cooking some corn. Okay, so we didn't get any sounds at the beginning. Why didn't we get any walk sounds at the beginning? I feel really fortunate that my mom was a home economics teacher for a while. She used my, me and my sister as guinea pigs for stuff she wanted to teach. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be fun. Kinda. Door slam. So the only time we're playing... The walk sound effect. Player step. That's why, because pause is on here. Break. I think what we need to do then is at the end, when the timer goes out or completing the dungeon, when we... So when do we close the dungeon off, essentially? Stair step. Set. Or set walk to zero. Where is it? I think that's when we do it. Okay, let's try this again here. You know what? I didn't take the one thing out. Um, it wasn't there. It was uh, up here. Did I? I did. I took the pl plus out. Yeah, that's fine. Or the pause. Pause is on always. Hmm. 
Hi, Quincy. Hi, Quincy. What you doing? I'm just gonna... Oh, is he full of purrs? Is he full of purrs? He got so many purrs to give? All them bees? All them belly bees? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we love the Quincy. We love the Quincy. Yes, we do. Should we give them the Quincy? Huh? Do you think they want to see the Quincy? Hmm? Huh, Quincy? Huh? Should we do Quincy time? Hey, baby. Oopa. There's the Quincy. There's the Quincy. He loves to, to stick his paw out like this. He does that big old sticky paw out. He does. Where do you think you're going, huh? Vroom. What you doing? Oh, he's so full of bees. He is so full of bees right now. I hear all them bees in you. Yes, I do. What's that? What's that? Quincy, you have so many bees right now. So many, I feel them. I do, baby. Yeah. Yeah. All the bees. Still with bees. He wants down. Okay, you gotta say hi to the camera real quick. And he's down. <laughs> That's so weird. He loves to be chased. He loves to be chased. He loves it. A paper tiger? Uh, I don't know. It's um, it's a hyena agenda shirt. I don't know. It's just neat. I think it looks cool. Why does the camera look at me like I'm popping up my chest? Like, I'm not. I'm just standing. But yeah, it's a uh, just neat looking design. I think it's cool. I got it at MFF like two years ago, and uh, I just enjoy it. I think it's neat. Bees! Bees! Alright, so that's working now. That's fine. Sometimes having just flags and stuff like that is great. We gotta figure out why these things are not working. I do not understand. Okay, so. We are setting their X position to four times, adding four times plus timer speed to total X. Doing that, okay. Let's see something here. Let's get rid of this. Can we put in here? Sometimes you just gotta look at these things. Boss alert bar one. Let's take a look at this thing. So right now, total X is zero. It's... X position is 390, or 320, excuse me. Okay. Um. Let's see what this does here. So we're just gonna kill these monsters. Mini mimic.
Okay, so now, with every movement past here, we should add 3 times 4, so it should add 12 to the total x, which is this value right here. Once we start moving. And its position is currently 320. That should get knocked down by 12, so the first one should be 308. As soon as it goes. There we go. Oh right, it got added plus 128. And then 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 120, 132. I should stay there. So I'm going to grab the calculator here. So we started at, oh, that's so neat looking. That's weird. Anyway, we started at, what did we start at? It was four, they were 320, right? So it started at 448 minus 132 equals 316, which is where they're at now. They're at 316 now. It's great. Okay. Let's let it do its thing. Tiger Committee approves of that t-shirt, nice. Okay, this will disappear, and then we should start counting up on our total X again. 144, 56. Okay, that's actually fine. It set it back to 448. Why did it set it back to 448? Well, one thing I do know that I, I'm doing wrong. Can't have these in here. Which is unfortunate, but... Okay, I think what I, I think what I'm gonna have to do is some stuff here. Um, let's see here. We're gonna get rid of this and that. Quincy had the bees, Aaron. He was all buzzing. He was a buzzy boy. He had the bees. I was showing him off to stream. Yeah. So. I was holding them against me, and I could feel all the bees, so... Uh, let's see here. Game startup. We're gonna put a thing in here. Uh, enter a new event that's gonna say... Didn't I have to do this somewhere else, too? Like, I had to do something with... Like... What was it? NQ thing? No, it wasn't that. Molly. Molly! Hi, Molly. I am on late, Rod. How are you? I don't know why this thing isn't working when I do a start of frame. It's not doing what I want it to do. 
so. He was a little poor baby. Now he's munching on his food. He's literally, I see his little paws sticking out from behind the green screen. I see his little paws down there. Oh, there he is. Rod, how are you doing? You're good? Just got home from a meeting with a work friend at my CEO's bar that he opened this year. Your CEO opened a bar? Okay. 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 I mean, you know, if he got that CEO money. Oh, he stopped working as a CEO to open a bar. Okay. Well, still, my point still stands. If he got that CEO money, he can afford to open a bar. Hmm. Like, where is he at work? Nowhere, but I saw him at the bar, of course. Yep. How much money does he make? I'm sorry, I'm bitter against CEOs because, like, CEOs in our fucking country make more money than, like, anybody else for doing less than the work of everybody else. Like, it's so frustrating. Yeah, it's so stupid. 300,000 or something up there. I mean, that's on the low end of some CEOs, but still. God, I can't... you imagine how comfortably you could live for 300,000 a year? I think I make, like, almost 40k a year. I don't even think it's that much. I think it's almost 40k a year. And... And I live pretty comfortably. Making almost 10 times that amount. I don't know what I would do. Man, I really don't know what I would do with that kind of money. No, most CEOs don't know how to do the job with the people under them. You're very right, Ro or Aaron. You're very right. Isn't it funny? They just get put in these positions and then say they got there for hard work. Aw, bless their hearts. Uh -huh, so funny. We love humor around here. I'd be comfortable with 75. Yeah, same. I saw the coolest old man today leaving the grocery. He was driving in a tiny car, had a sweet blow, and smelled like so much weed. <laughs> had to be at least 75. That's awesome. Ugh. Alright. I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do this. I planned on doing other things tonight, but... Oh! Player DBR with the rate of 35. Holy moly, thank you. Welcome in, everybody. That's incredible. I need to know what you were doing. If I can figure out how to do my new shout out command. You know what? I kind of like my old shout out, but I'm going to try this one. Oh, did somebody else do it? Fusion is like, are you a Fusion user too? No way. Really? Dude, if you're a Fusion user too, that's so cool. I love finding other Fusion developers on on Twitch. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Everybody, player DBR, Huskanow, and Killer Toto, Killer Totos. It worked. You were updating a mobile game. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I am going to give you a follow because I need to check you out. There's a couple other. If you don't know of them, there's two, only two, <laughs> that I know of. Two other Fusion developers uh, that stream regularly on Twitch. Uh, one is FlipSwitchX. Um, he was developing um, Home Grove, uh, but now he's working on Magnet Jack. I hang out in his stream quite a bit. Uh, and then the other one is Parker 8 Ball. Um, he used to do a lot of Fusion devs uh, stuff uh, that I knew of um, when I first. He actually raided me, and I started following him, getting to know him. We're good buds now, but um, he. He used to do a lot of fusion dev, but I think he got kind of bored of it after a bit because he couldn't settle on a project. So now he just plays Fortnite. <laughs> what am I working on? I am glad you asked. Um, this is my little project that I'm making. Um, that's supposed to be my um, 
a game that people can play while I stream. Uh, it's a game called MicroStream RPG. It's still kind of early in development, but it's coming along. Um, let me give you a little tour of it, but I need to go back over here. Um, yeah, I can put it up to show it. Let me save this stuff here so we can do that. Uh, actually, yeah, I can just I can just run it so you guys can see it. Um, some people have already like we're right now. We're kind of like in just the early stages. So um, I only have the first dungeon mainly con uh, finished. I still want to do more to the first dungeon. But um, for right now, that's basically what we got. Uh, plan on doing a lot more dungeons in the future for people to work through. I'm getting everything all set up. Give me just a moment here. I need to get touch portal open. Um, and I actually need to open the game too. Wow. Oh wait, the game's already over here. Sorry, give me just a moment here. I wasn't planning on this. You caught me off guard. <laughs> Hi, gay. Why did it go full screen? I need you to not be full screen. I need you to be free. Um, okay, let's see here. We're actually just gonna move this off screen because we don't need that on there. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, my apologies. Like I said, you kind of caught me off guard a little bit here. Um, let me make sure touch portal is working. Touch portal is working. Um, and let's turn the... Oh, it's already on. Okay, cool. So it should be working. Let me activate it here. It's going to be a little different when we actually get things going. But Molly, if you want to go ahead and activate it, you should be able to do so now. So... So what it does is it opens up this little thing right above me here. Um... And it plays, and you can see there, Molly is going into the dungeon. It's an autoplay RPG featuring people from chat. So she's been playing for a little bit. She's currently level 11, so she's absolutely going to destroy this little first dungeon. But yeah, she can do heals and stuff too. Little heal commands to help out your fellow players. But she's gonna absolutely destroy this. Did the heal command not work again? There it is. So it's it's a one bit um, in terms of graphical style. RPG, where, you know, it's it's very simplistic graphics. Um, I plan on making it so people can actually do like a redeem on my channel where they can get a custom sprite so when they play, their sprite shows up. Um, their stats are progressive so their EXP remains after they die. Um, um, the Rat King always kills you. I, you got him, Molly. You got him. You got that Rat King. Look at you. Um, yeah, see? No problem. Yeah! Um, so we've been having fun with it. We've been working on it for the past couple months. Um, and it just kind of sequentially goes. Like, I don't have to do anything. It just runs by itself. So now Molt did another redeem. And he gets to play now. Um, if you want to try it yourself, you can before I go turning it off. Um, but yeah, that's the little project I've been working on here. Um, for like so the past few months, I just, I really wanted to have something that my stream community could interact with and play, uh, while I was doing other stuff. Um, even while I was working on game dev, while I was doing, you know, just playing other games and stuff, something that they can kind of have fun with and they can work together and, um, enjoy. I just thought it was cool. Um, I thought it'd be a cool idea. Oh my God, Molt. That's right. You're level 14. You're just going to destroy everything. I need to fix these numbers and stuff. Thank you. 
I appreciate that. What have you been working on? I would love to know your project as well, honestly. And this has got a lot of little options and stuff in it too. Like you can hit this little button. Um, so you can actually change the volume, whatever you want to. For some reason they're really loud. I, I don't remember it being that loud before. And if you're stream, like if you have a smaller community or something like that too, you can actually adjust the EXP that uh, you earn or your your people earn. You can even go back to like 0.5 if you got, you know, if you want to reduce the flow a little bit. Uh, and then you got different like window size adjustments that you can do. So you can actually change how it looks on your screen uh, as well. Or you can just full screen it. So it goes either way. But I, I created this little menu thing up here that I'm really, I'm really happy with. Um, I don't think this is the latest version has this. No, it doesn't. Um, but in my, uh, in the version that I'm working on currently, it has uh, some other stats and stuff that it'll show off. Um, but yeah, this will be you going now. Your first time discovers the Dungeon Abyss. You know, a little mage guy with a big sword. A cloud, cloud sword. I made the first enemy that you ever encounter a slime. So you'll pretty much always be able to beat that. But, oh no, you have the Tartamagus. Oh shoot. They hit pretty hard, but they're slow. So you usually get a few hits in. Hmm. Oh, he missed. Uh, he's not going to survive. No. Uh. But the main point of it is, is that, um, you know, it's meant to be something that you play. I like that little rip thing. That's actually perfect. Um, it's something that's meant to be played several times uh, over several streams. You beat the first dungeon, then you'll be able to progress to the next dungeon. And there'll be different enemies and different strategies and stuff for beating them. I'm still trying to come up with how we're going to work out strategies, mainly because since it's an autoplay RPG, I mean, it's like, how do you develop strategies for something that's, you know, you're not actually controlling? So it's been a little bit tricky on that front, but uh, I have some ideas. I actually have come up with some ideas. And originally I was going to do it as a channel point redeem, but because Twitch doesn't allow me to do cooldown timers for individual people, only a global cooldown timer. It makes it a little frustrating because somebody can just wait for the cooldown and snipe it every time. That means other people can't really play. So I'm trying to work on that. I think I'm going to be making it like I have um, text commands to start up the game, run games, um, which will allow me to do a lot of other things too. Um, Parker again, Parker 8-Ball, which I'll give him a shout out here. Um, I don't think he's actually in the chat. But... Um, but Parker actually, like I said, he does some pretty smart stuff with Fusion as well. Um, he usually streams early in the morning because he's over in England. So <laughs> luck is a skill in some games. Yeah, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Um, but yeah, that's my main project uh, in Click Team Fusion. The other project isn't even... Nope, there it is. I was like, isn't even in my list anymore? But it is. Uh, this is my main project. Uh, if you haven't noticed by my channel and stuff, I'm a big Pac-Man fan. Um, so something I wanted to do was to create um, like the ultimate, in my personal opinion, my ultimate Pac-Man clone where I could play all of the Pac-Man games, but then I could also mix and match all the elements from the Pac-Man games. So I created a game called Pac-Man 37 and I've been working on that for about five years now, on and off. Um, and this is Pac-Man 37. Hi, Quincy. I didn't even see you down there, baby. Um, so you've got, in Pac-Man 37, you got the, uh, you got the, yeah, um, you've got original Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man, Junior Pac-Man, and you got a random mode. Um, so you can go through all these. Um, if you select one of them, you can play the original arcade version, or you can play a customized version where you can just choose and edit whatever you want to. Um, so like, for example, if we go to Miss Pac-Man and just play the original, gives you some, I forgot that thing still in there. This is a working thing right now. Don't mind those little colors right above the retro text, but you can change the graphics to be, you know, your normal 
retro stuff, uh, your classic stuff, uh, or you got uh, modern graphics. Um, I'll do the modern so I can show that. You got pack speed. You can change the speed of the game. Uh, and then it's basically original... Almost as close to the arcade as you can get. There's, again, there's some stuff that's still being worked on right now. I've taken a little break from this to work on MicroStream RPG. Um, so, like, pa Miss Pac-Man has a yellow bow. We are working on different colors and everything. But you can actually change the colors on the fly. And this is all developed in Fusion, too. Um, you didn't know for changing on the fly was a thing? Yeah, 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 you can just change the graphics on the fly. And you can also do, you can also do this, you can adjust things individually. So like you can make Pac-Man be, have modern, the ghost be, um, actually I like to do the maze be modern, have Pac-Man be classic. Um, so you can mix and match all the graphical elements too. So you can have like, this looks like Pac-Man, uh, Pac-Man 99 a little bit. With the ghost being that way in a 3D maze. Nope, you can just change it anytime you want on the fly. Um, and then there's also... Do I have that with the key? Yeah. I put in these, like, little modes like this, too. So it's like you're playing on an old arcade cabinet. Um, but anyway, nope, I didn't want to quit. Go back to main menu. Um, but yeah, if you do, you can go over here and like hit this and hit custom, and it gives you some more options. So now you can change your character, you can change who you want your character to be. You can have a fifth ghost in there. Um, you can choose different maze sets to play in. Uh, so you can play in Junior Pac-Man's maze sets. There's a whole bunch of mazes that are going to be coming, but again, it's all just kind of work in progress. And then there's, um... Super Junior Pac-Man, that's a thing that's been in there since the start. That's been something that's been there for... You can change that stuff anytime you want. Just hit the uh, hit the 8 key on your keyboard, and you can change those things anytime. Um, or if you're playing on a controller, just the, uh, the top button. Wow, this controller does not show up on stream. There it is. Um... Oh... And we got the white Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, no, the, 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 the color changing, yeah, you're not going to be able to change that on the fly. No, color changing, you're not going to be able to change on the fly. That's a thing that's uh, that will be tied in from when you start. But anyway, so yeah, that's my that's my main project is Pac-Man 37. Uh, it's been a labor of love on that one. There's some bugs that are still being worked out, obviously, but for the most part, it's pretty bug-free. Um. But yeah, uh, player, I thank you again for the raid. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, that was super nice of you. Uh, if you're if you're feeling free to stick around, um, I'd love to hear about what your project is. Um, or I can just catch you on your next stream if you got to get going. I definitely understand. Uh, I'll give you a follow, and then uh, next time I see you online, I'll, I'll pop in and hang out. Um, but uh, yeah, like I said, I, I love hearing about other people's fusion products. Or products? Projects. So much. Um... It's one of those weird things where it's like Fusion gets a lot of flack sometimes for, you know, just kind of being the program that it is. And I love it. I think it's great. I think it's fun to work in. Um, oh, yeah, I was trying to think of how I was going to do this. I remembered what I was working on now. I think what I'm gonna do with this though.
I think the problem is that I'm so worried about the camera shake having an effect on these things. I think I'm so worried about the camera shake having an effect on these that it is it's causing me to think about it too in too much of a complicated manner. And camera shake's not going to happen when you're going between rounds. So I need to stop worrying about that. You were working on a few Android game, Creative Runner. Do a lot of game jams using Fusion. Oh, I've been wanting to do a game jam so bad. Did you participate in uh, Ludum Dare? 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 Ludum Dare? How do you pronounce it? I don't even know. Um, did you participate? That was this past weekend. I had a wedding to go to, but like, I want to participate in one so bad, and I keep having stuff happening every weekend that one of them happens. Although I don't know if I would have done super well with the theme every 10 seconds. Not the recent one. Yeah, I was busy this weekend. I didn't even check out and see what people have done with it, honestly. I've got some people that I'm fans of, and I wonder if they did any good, uh... Dare. Dare. Molt is our resident linguist, so he's usually pretty correct on things. Though he never gave us any... Oh, he wasn't here during that conversation. Uh, how do you pronounce... Uh, co comic? That the the character from... Like, the, the Magikoopa from Mario. I pronounce it Kamek. Comic? God, I don't even remember now. I don't even remember how I pronounce it now, because we... Everybody got me all confused. I don't even know now. Okay. I don't understand why this is adding back that amount. How about we don't make these... How about we don't do that? Oh, hang on. I gotta go. Oh, you know what? I can't. Okay. I've said his name either way, but typically I use the English A sounds like Ash. Ash. Hammock. Yeah, I think I think that's how everyone else was saying it too. Kamek, like Cami Koopa, because there's there's another Cami Koopa too. So they were saying Kamek, and I said comic, like like a comic book. <laughs> I just now realizing it, I'm saying it like a comic book. Um, what was I gonna do here? So the other features that I'm adding in now uh, is um, I've got this little thing where if you hover over the top. And you keep hovering, it'll tell you what the version is and how many people are currently in queue uh, to play the game. Uh, but you can also, at any time, hit L for line, uh, and that will show you uh, how many people are in line in queue. Um, but also, you can just do this, and the menu will still bounce around, which is neat. You can have it go underneath the menu. Um, and then you can also hit Shift to show the version, uh, which again does the same thing. It gets pushed down by the menu. I'm pretty happy with how that looks. And again, if you keep hovering, it'll just stay there anyway. Um, so that's one of the features that uh, I added in. Another feature is that it now displays the enemy names. Oh, shit. I forgot I have the actual game running over here. No, get out of here. <laughs> you didn't have to subscribe, dude. Oh my gosh. Thank you! That's so nice of you! Really nice to meet another Fusion streamer. I need to go, but I'll be back for sure. Well, thank you once again for the raid. I really appreciate it, and I will definitely be checking you out. Like, super duper be checking you out. I'm very interested to see what you've been doing. Thank you so much again. Have a wonderful evening! You're back, and we're talking about Final Fantasy IV Kane. Kane? Hansel? Comic. Comic. I need to... I, I can adjust, you guys. I can change. 
<laughs> I can change, I can do it. Alright. Why did I get rid of all the thingies? I had so many thingies in here and it just made them all go away. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna go boss alert bar one, okay. And we're gonna check. Currently it's X position is 192. Why is it different now? I was not even paying attention. Dang it. 228. Just gonna kill it. Went to check out the Aya Nakamura show. Wait, there's a there's a show? Man, why are they doing all this stuff? So now it's set to 320 again. I'm not saying you're wrong, Donnie. It's, you know, it's just one of those things that, since Nintendo never directly says it. Hmm. Where's the boss thingies at the bottom? They didn't appear. I went to 448. What is happening here? Is this only happening because it's in threes? I do not understand. Look, if we do double time, it's at 256. Wait, is it default 256? Yeah, it is. Okay, 256. Xbox is zero. It's never even set anything to Xbox, which is fine. Okay, so 256 is where it's at. They bump up by 128. Go back to 256, okay. And then they zip down to 256 off of 128, should be 128. I go to 384. Why are they at 384? Why are they at 384? The 384. Something is going fucky here. This sounds like Link's Awakening music. Now they're at 512. Okay, so it's not just happening. It is not just happening at three times speed. This is definitely happening at all speeds. But why doesn't it happen? You know what? It probably was happening at normal speed too. It's just... I think it's because I'm not factoring in this 128. Let me let me see what my math is doing here. Okay, so for every one of these, we're adding four times the timer speed. So let's say the timer speed is one. So we are setting, we're making this visible. So it's gonna run through every single one of these. So it starts one or zero. So it's gonna go to one and it's gonna add four to our total x and it's going to do that 32 times so 32 times 4 is going to be 128 okay we're going to do that again to make 256 
And then down here at the bottom, once we hit our ending timer, we're gonna set our X position to, cause here we're minusing. So we're minusing 256. So let's say right here, if it's currently set to, Let's let's just say for example it's set to it's set to 128. So we're adding 128 onto it, which takes it to 256. So we're taking 128 off, taking 128 off again, right? Um, we're taking 120. We're doing. It's adding that on. I see what's going on. I see what's happening, I think. I think. Um, because we're, we're not factoring in this 128. Not factoring in the 128. Okay, so this is where I'm drawing the problem from is how do I do this? Yeah, the shows in Fortnite are actually kind of cool. It's like this interactive show that you get to jump around and run around and do all this neat stuff in. Um, I really, really, I like when they do that. I can't even remember who the artist was the last time I did one, but it was, it was like a 20 minute thing. Like, you literally got to run around and do all these neat things that were happening for 20 minutes and collect stuff, and the environment changed constantly, and there was new music on the screen. It was like five or six or seven songs in a row. Um, and it was really cool. Like, I wasn't... The, I don't even know who the artist was. It's not super my thing that I would, like, listen... Like, I went out and sought that kind of stuff, but it was really cool. I really enjoyed the music. So, I think, I think what I want to do, I can't do that though because we've got multiple ones. Should I just make this all one bar? I, I, I had it as two bars because I felt like that would make things easier for me. But I think I'm just going to double this. I think I'm going to double the length of it. Because I think having two of them is making things way too hard. Because I'm, I'm worried about camera positioning and everything. So if I can just have one bar, that's going to make things a lot easier. So let's make all of these 128. Might take a, a moment here. Not 1287. I think this will make things easier. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this. And we're just going to double the length up on each one of these. It's kind of a cheap way to do this, but honestly, I'm just like, I'm struggling a little bit to figure out how to get this to work. And again, for something that's probably not even going to be an issue in the game in general, or something that I have the power to limit, <laughs> like, the speed timer doesn't need to go, it doesn't need to go over, um doesn't need to go over four and it doesn't need to even be three i could limit it and say hey it's not going to do that this is just me wanting to be as flexible as possible when it comes to this stuff
because I like making sure that things don't mess up in any sort of situations that could occur. Even if they may never occur, I still like to put in like little fail safes to help keep them from ever happening. I don't know if that's good or bad, being paranoid about stuff like that happening all the time. I'm sure the secret MSN RPG modding community will do it anyway. <laughs> and you know what? There's, I'm usually so paranoid about stuff like that too, because here's the thing. A lot of times I save, um, I save progress, high scores, uh, all that stuff into an INI file, which is basically just a fancy text file. Like if you know where the INI file is, you can literally open it in any text editor and you can edit stuff in there and change the game. So typically by default, I have built into the game engine that if it detects there's anything that goes outside of the normal realm of possibilities in the options or settings or anything like that, it will set everything to default. So like if somebody does try to mess with the settings and change them to something the game isn't programmed to do, it'll reset it. Um, so I usually try to prevent stuff like that happening. Um, I've been thinking about, um, I've been thinking about changing all of the save data to an array instead of INI files. Arrays are a lot harder to read and edit apparently, but I think I can store more info in there. So I may be changing things to an array. But this is actually something I wanted to talk to you guys about as well. I have a theory on how I want to do um, the weapon specific stuff. Because I was trying to think of things about how to make weapon specific stuff be beneficial or how we can provide some sort of a challenge to players later on. Um, so it's not just purely a grind fest. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, um, I'm going to have like a rock, paper, scissors style of weapon system. So I'm going to go with, um, is my phone fully charged just this? Okay, cool. Um, I need to charge my headset. So I think I'm going to go with three weapon types. We're gonna have piercing, um, blunt, and magic. I think is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do piercing, blunt, and magic weapons. Um, piercing would be good against blunt. Blunt would be good against magic, and magic would be good against piercing. Um, so, uh, I don't know why that is. I may adjust things. Anyway. Um, so we're going to have three different styles and or three different weapons groupings, essentially. Um, and you can choose. I think what I'll do is I'll have it so the players can choose to just be like a random weapon. Um, so whatever they play in will be random. So whatever they go against will be, you know, random. Um, or just steal the fire emblem weapons thing. Yeah, I mean, that's. Theirs is a little different because there's just like bow and arrows. They have like distance, don't they? Distance is good against armored bows. Um, no, distance is good against um, aerial foes, isn't it? Flying foes. I can't remember. Anyway, yeah, Fire Emblem's a little bit weird. I'll have to look into it some, but anyway. Whatever I decide on, like I said, I want it to be kind of a, a rock, paper, scissors kind of system. But what I what I think I'm going to do is have it that so that players have a proficiency uh, at weapons. 
So, for example, if you change your weapon to, um, if you change your weapon to a piercing weapon, and that's all you ever use is that piercing weapon, um, every usage that you do will give you a proficiency point, and then when you hit so many points, your proficiency will level up. Um, so again, it's all an automatic thing. You don't have to do it. You just have to choose the weapon that you want to do. And then your proficiency in that weapon will give you a slight attack boost um, when using that weapon. But it will it'll also be multiplied by the attack bonus if you're using um, that weapon type against an enemy that's weak against that weapon type. So... For example, like switching to certain weapon types may make the dungeon easier, but if you're proficient in a certain weapon type, then you may really just be able to defeat bosses um, of, that are weak against it. But if you're not, you may struggle a bit more and you may need a little bit of luck and you may need other things. So I, I think that would be kind of a neat system to put into place, and it's pretty easy to do too. Um... So I may try to work on that a little bit as well. But for right now, we need to figure this out because I didn't plan on spending this much time on this. I wanted to work on like some menu stuff. Actually, what was the other thing I wanted to work on? It wasn't the menu. It was, um, I might to finish the speed stuff. We're still not done with speed stuff. I got to finish the ending stuff. Quincy is playing with a piece of cereal on my shoe. I don't know, I'll, I'll give it some thought. Again, I don't want anything to be too complicated. I think that's the worst part. I don't want things to be too complicated. But... He, he does this all the time. He takes... We throw pieces of cereal down because he loves to chase the cereal. But he will put one in my shoe. And then he will try to get it out of the shoe. And that's currently what he is. He's got both paws in my shoe. Now he's looking at me because I looked at him. Yeah, I see you over there. What if you put the Crunchberry in the shoe for him? I mean, he does that on his own. He's got his whole ass head in my shoe now. <laughs> Uh-oh, stinky. Anyway. Um... Can I just... I wonder if I can do this. So what is the position that I would need this to be at? Boss alert bar, if we put it here, what is the X position here? That is 320. Okay. So what if we just do that? What if we just say... Upon activation of this, we're just going to say set X position to 320. And then this one would be on the other side. So it would be here. And this is 64. Okay. So. To 64. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do a thing here where we're going to say... Um, I'm gonna make another I'm gonna make another event here. We're just gonna copy this. We're gonna say this but bar movement equals no, I can't do that, can I? Shit uh, what can I do here? Greater than 180, but let's do this and put this over here is uh, lower than 220. 
So if it's in that range there, plus this equals 32. Um, I may not even need this other thing, so we'll see here. We are going to... What is the position then that's in the middle of the screen? This is... 192. Oh, well, that's right, because it's three times the amount. Okay. 192. Okay. Position, set X position to 192. Uh, and then set X position to 192. Um, I don't even think I'm going to worry about this. I'm going to delete that. And delete that. And let's see if this works. Wait, did I get rid of the one that's in there? Okay, I did. I want to make sure I didn't have a duplicate. This is two times speed. See if this works. Okay, they come in. Sit where they're supposed to. And they should leave. Like they're supposed to. Let's just defeat him. Run it again. They work properly here. Cool. That looked like that worked. Okay. Uh, let's try it at three times speed and see if it works at three times speed. do that when it's an enemy or a boss? I don't think so. Okay, so that's working. Um, but now we need to figure out why the bar at the bottom is disappearing when and yeah, the stuff done here. Why is this disappearing? Make invisible. Okay, defeating enemies. We appear.
We don't make it invisible any other time. The only times we make it invisible is at the beginning of the game. Or here, when it's either defeat timer equals no visibility timer. Defeat timer equals three or four. Does that progress bar is visible? I think I'm going to put this in here. I think that will prevent this. Let's see. I think that's because that's what's happening. sleepy try to get some good sleep oh that's okay molt i hope you have a wonderful evening thank you for joining me i really do appreciate it <laughs> gareth duck fancy Forget it. Forget it. Yeah. Aww. He crossed his little paws and laid his head on his paws. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Stop it. He just rolled over. Aww. I gotta go give him some attention. I'll be right back. I gotta pee anyway. Hang on. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Ah! You are so cute.
Yeah, his cuteness explosion was ridiculous. Super duper ridiculous. And here he is. He came back. There's the Quincy. There's his little face. There's his little face. Giving him the butt pats. Giving him the butt pats. He loves the butt pats. Doesn't. Doesn't. Yeah. We'll do hallway walk afterwards. I'm calling it the hallway walk because it's like his favorite thing. He he likes to go walk down the hallway. He doesn't do anything, he just walks, he sniffs and explores, but he just likes to go down that hallway a whole bunch. So we're gonna do our nightly hallway walk once I'm done with stream. I'm actually kind of tired, so I may be ending stream here soonish, um, probably in the next half hour or so. Um, but uh, made some decent progress tonight. What was I working on though? There was something else I wanted to do after this. So I got that working, I got that showing up and animating properly. I was going to test it at other levels, but I think it should be fine. Let's go over here and test it at the second level. That dinner was amazing. The dinner was great. Linux made an amazing dinner. curious about something. I feel like something has not been working lately. This is the... the EXP bar value is currently 5543. My BRB is still on. to leave that on. I'm sorry, guys. Uh... Okay, we gotta fix this next. We gotta fix the ending screen here next. Sixty nine, nice. That looks good. Um thing I am curious about right now is I'm curious about the XP thing. For some reason, I feel like it's once again not working as intended. Um, so if we go like this. It's setting its value to the minimum because... This is way lower. 3329 is way lower. And so when you beat an enemy, three three two nine. Why is nothing getting added to his actual EXP points? Hello?
He's been perpetually level 9 all night. Is it just because I've been fucking around with his levels and stuff? There's no way. Don't tell me we are back with this bullcrap of having issues with the EXP bar. EXP3329. It's not adding any more to it. So let's let's see something here. I'm going to completely delete test user out of the save file. So if we save this, you know what, actually, let's set the speed to two because it makes it so much faster to do. For testing purposes, it's great. Absolutely wonderful. So 126 is what he needs to level up. Currently as EXP points is set to zero. Okay. He didn't get any. I think I got 13 from defeating that guy. What if we do let's destroy him? Okay, leveled up. Okay, let's let him die. Let's close the game. Open up the data file. EXP is zero. Why is the player not getting any XP now? Ah! I swear. I swear. What is happening? Why does this keep happening? Something is going on now. You know what it is. No, because it was doing it when we were doing... It's got to be something I changed in here. It's got to be something I changed here. Add timer speed to that. Is that actually a thing? Right there, okay. I think it's because I introduced a new thing and it's not, it's fucked it up somehow. <laughs> Molly with the parts. I didn't do your hydrate. Sorry, Gareth. I thought I was gonna when I got back and then I just got instantly sucked in. Do you eat in the end? They're lucky I like cold food. Oh my gosh. I didn't show you guys my new phone. You want to see my new toy? Show you my new toy. This is my new phone. Look how cute it is. It's, I got a little case as a hook for it. So you can like hold it like this. 
and you can double tap on the little screen and it starts it up and then you can swipe and you can see things like this is um this is my what is that oh why does it have my i can just instantly put my what is this stuff hello how did i get here how did i get here <laughs> i don't even know what i did No, I don't want to. Hang on. How did I do that? How did I even do that? How did I do that? <laughs> no, 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 it's not even that. It's so I just, um, I just, um, hooked up all my Samsung pay info. So like all my, like, like my main bank card, um, and my, um, and like my one credit card. That's all I did is just put those on there so that I could have easy access to stuff if I forget my wallet or something, which is really cool. But so what you're supposed to be able to do is tap this little front screen um, and then you can slide and you can get like a calendar on there. Kind of hard to see, but you can get a calendar. I can see the weather on the little front screen. Um, I can do a timer if I want to. Um, I've got my alarm information on there. Um, music if I have music playing and I can answer calls and everything from here too. But yeah, somehow I can also check my notifications by sliding over and there's no notification. Um, so that's really cool there. Um, but yeah, then it's like the phone whoop, opens up and you got like a normal, nice little phone. Um, and you can, I keep it like this pretty much all day because then it's just like a normal phone. You can see the crease that's in the middle there. Um, you don't really feel it too much. It, it's a little annoying, but it's not anything that I actually feel like is hindering me. Um, it's like the always on display, but with more. Yeah. And the thing turns off on the back when you're, um, when it, when you have it open like this. Um, but like a neat thing you can do is that, um, like, let's say we do like a camera. So like, there's the front selfie camera, for example, right? So we got the selfie camera, but if I, if I take the phone and I do this, it goes up like that. So now it's like, I can lay it down and I've got this little this little camera like that somehow you're supposed to be able to get the camera to show up on the back too um does the crease suck for videos um not that i have seen um panorama food hyperlapse i don't know what director's view is that's not showing me anything on the front Whoa! Director's view is neat. You can see both cameras at the same time. That's cool as shit. That's not what I was wanting to do, though. I don't know how to make... I don't know how to make the, the camera go to the outside. Um... Shooting methods. How heavy is it compared to a full one? I feel like it's not really any heavier. Um, it feels pretty decent to me. Um, one thing I like is that, like, let's say, for example, I'm watching somebody on Twitch. Um, so let's find someone we can watch. Just go through here. Let's see who's streaming. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Ilian streaming. We'll just go look at Ilian stream. Um, so for example, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but it's neat, right? Um, 
did Samsung get bloated with, better with the bloatware? I don't see why I stopped buying the phones with Philips. I haven't really noticed anything. They do have some things, especially, but I feel like a lot of that comes down to your carrier, not your, um, not Samsung themselves. Samsung has, has a few things on there, yeah, but I feel like the carrier is the problem. But, so here's Twitch on the phone normally. So you got like the chat bar down here, you got the, the video running up there. Um, if we do turn it sideways, you can see how the crease looks in the middle. I don't really notice it too much when I'm actually just looking at it. Um, it's really only on black screens that you really see it. Like if I'm looking at it straight on, I don't, I don't really see the crease. Um, but I like that I can do this. You can turn it like this and it'll pop up this little icon. Actually just instantly put it into like this mode where the bottom screen is now like this little touchpad essentially. I can do this and then look at the top screen. Watch, if I touch on this touchpad down here, I get a mouse cursor on the top screen. Again, I don't know what I'd use this for at the moment, but it's like a little it's like a little laptop all of a sudden. It turns my little phone into like a little laptop. I can move around and stuff and tap where I want to go. Yeah, I t I literally tapped it like a like a little laptop in the chat bar. It was on the bottom and it brought up the chat bar down here. So that's really neat. And then as soon as you fold it directly out, it goes instantly back to its normal mode, which is cool. Um, so I like that a lot. Uh, like I said, one of the main things that they have done is that you're supposed to be, um, you're supposed to use the camera. This thingy on the front will actually display what you are like when you're looking when you're trying to do a camera like you know from this direction and stuff from the back side of it um so it's hard to tell where you're focusing on this this screen is supposed to there's a mode that's supposed to be in there where it'll show you what the camera is seeing so you know what you're photographing when you have it like set down like this like you can set it on the table and have it angled somewhere so it's taking a picture of you and you can see it um you can see what your picture is going to look like before you take it which I think is really, really cool. Um, I just can't figure out how to do it. So I think that's really cool. It's like a mini Dex mode, yeah. Um, the Foldy Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance SP is what you're thinking of. But it does that in a lot of different games. You can actually do that in games and stuff. Um, you can have, ask your phone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch a video on some other features because I've seen other people, I've seen people put, um, I've seen people put YouTube on this front screen. Um, so I've definitely seen it happen. You can edit what shows up there, but I just haven't looked into it too much. I've I've been spending all my time basically just trying to reinstall all my apps and remember all my passwords for everything because there's a lot of passwords that I have that I don't... <laughs> I had to go back through and get all I had to recover passwords for everything all over again. It's been a big pain in the butt, but um, as satisfying as the flip, I mean, it's okay. I, I am one of these people that I'm one of these people that I'm worried about longevity of it kind of a little bit. I don't think I have anything to worry about, but I'm still worried just about the longevity about like damage happening to it from overuse of the flip so the majority of the day i either keep it like this or i flip it open and just leave it open for the majority of the day the only time i really do this is when i put it in my pocket or i'm not using it but the rest of the day it's been usually stays open um but do i have a password manager i was talking to linux about that i actually don't i keep my passwords um in a document on my phone so that way, I don't know, I just feel like it's more secure that way. So that way I don't have to worry about like, if somehow my phone gets hacked and they know where to go to for like passwords or something. And I just update it manually whenever something happens, whenever I change a password. Uh, what was I doing? Okay. So that's if you level up. We're not worried about that. We're worried about this right here. EXP earning is getting turned off. 
It's an EXP. I use Google Chrome and Samsung Password. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's, that's what a lot of people do as well. I'm just, like, strangely paranoid about that. Not that I need to be. I've never really been hacked, but... It's like one of those things where it's like I also feel like I've never been hacked because I'm usually pretty paranoid about that stuff. So maybe that's why. I don't know. Okay. So I think I see what's happening. This step here is getting skipped. This is getting skipped. And I know why now. I know exactly why. It's always setting it off up here. Why am I always turning it off? We should just turn it on. Hi, Quincy. Hi. I really just want to pick you up and hold you, but I'm going to let you just run off and do what you want. Okay, I think this should work. I think this should work. I think that's what the problem was, because I was always setting it. That it wasn't ever doing these other things. Yeah, there we got EXP. That's, oh wait, you know what? I need to look at that again. I want to make sure that the flag is off. Earning XP is off. That seems to be that seems to have fixed it. Okay. I did a bad thing. Hi baby. Um And then what was the other thing? I wanted to work on I wanted to work on the speed at the end, but there's something that's really been bothering me and I want to work on it instead. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is damage not damage numbers. Attack, timing, and activation. Okay. Um, this right here, we need to fix this. Um, So if the damage would equal zero, if for some reason or another that the enemy would hit you and they would do, or if you're doing, you're hitting an enemy and you're doing less damage than what the enemy, or if you're doing zero damage to the enemy, it does a random one to 10, which is absolutely nothing when it comes to later on enemies. So what I need to do is I think what we're going to do is we're going to change this. We're going to change this from a random number um, value
it's gonna be HP times zero point zero one. That's one percent, right? Is my math bad? I can't I don't even know. Um let's say one hundred times zero point zero one equals one. Yeah, so that's one percent. Um then we're gonna do value retrieve HP of that times zero point one. There we go. So what I'm doing here is we're going to, if your attack would be less zero or less than after all the damage calculation and defense calculations are fit in, then instead what it's gonna do is do a random amount of the monster's HP, 1% to 10% of the monster's HP, a random number in there. Gonna head out for now. Thanks for streaming. You're welcome, Justin. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Um, so let's see here. I think what the problem also is, is that times crit. Okay, that is working, actually. Times crit minus defense of the monster. So we are calculating all that in. Um, and then we're setting attack reach to two. bed too um so i think what i'm gonna have to do here is i'm gonna have to um let's set the monsters up to let's set base level to be like 20 for the slimes um and the bat and the rat so hopefully we get one of these guys and the shroomling at the beginning here. Let's hope we get one of them and it'll just be really high level. I wanna see something here. So let's load in our monster sprite. Um, His HP is currently set to 743. Um, and he is level 20, okay. So it's a shroomling. So 743. So 1% of that would be what? 7? And then 10% would be 74. So the damage we should be doing to him should be anywhere between those two. He's gonna hurt really bad. If he don't kill us! Okay, maybe 20 was too much.
You know what, we're just gonna do slime. We're gonna make it so that it has to be a slime. We're gonna make it so it has to be a slime. I'm just gonna go ahead and, get, and disable these for right now. Make this 501. And we'll make this be a slime. Okay. Let's try this again here. So the monster should have be level 10, 385 health. So we should be doing it between 3 and 38 damage. Oh, my damage actually can hit him. All right, well, what if we erase this then? So this isn't really gonna be something that players are gonna see too much when it comes to attacking a monster because most times you're not gonna be going up against a monster that's that out of your range. Um, so it's not something you're really gonna see too much, but um, you may see it on the flip side when a monster is attacking you. sense. You're only gonna get like one attack in each time. Mm. Oh shit. Yeah, four is the lowest, so he just got, he literally got super unlucky right there. Possible. Two times in a row. Stop it! <laughs> I could change more in the code to make this to test this out, but I don't wanna. Three. I don't think that should be possible, right? What's his what's his health at? 385? I think it does round down. <laughs> it's gonna mash the heels. Why is he getting so many low hits? Okay, yeah, there's 16. Three. 14. Should be anywhere between 30. Oh, there's a 53. I guess the best way to test this then would be let's go up here to the monster again let's go to this thing um, and let's edit this to be 100 and then we're going to go to the data file here and we're going to set the test users level to be 
Why are they just falling? What are they doing? <laughs> Is it because I did it too early? No, that's weird. What's the monster's HP at? 8,800. You don't have to worry about that later on, do you? Hmm. You know, I think it'll just be fine in general. I like how it's just like I'm so confident about it. It'll be fine. Fine. No, this should be 300. Um, so I need to do the same thing for monsters then. Is I need to make it so when monsters attack you, um, I think that does work. Um, but let's do it for the monsters here. Random range between HP of the character times zero point zero one. Hi. Oh, sorry, Quincy. What did I do with the rat runts too? Like there's something I did with them for their damage. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'm not I'm not fucking with that. I think I, I think I liked how I did that. Too tired to deal with this stuff right now. I think that's the problem. I'm just too tired. But that is something I wanted to do. Okay, I think the last thing I want to do is completing the dungeon, being able to move on to the next dungeon. Uh, everything's going really great on the speed option so far. I actually am really happy with how it's worked. I think timing out of the equal 60. Yeah, I'm just finishing up the last thing now, which is the, um, like, when you finish the dungeon. 
um, the little animation that plays and he walks out and goes to the next dungeon, that's the last thing I need to finish for the speed option. And I think the speed option will, I just have to implement it into the menu. And once I implement it, then it'll be done. Uh, but at least it's there for now. Now, how far I'm going to, to take it, I don't know. Right now, two times speed seems pretty, pretty sufficient. Um, three times speed seems like too much, and four times is ludicrous speed. Like, it's just so fast. Like, I don't know why anybody would ever want that, but... So it's like one of those things, like, do I include that? Give people the option to have four times speed? Or do I think two and three is fast enough? Um, yeah, any faster is like, why? Um, but again, I'm trying to theoretically plan for if this does get into somebody's stream who has hundreds of viewers, they'd be able to have it run people's characters faster. But I think three times speed is almost enough, but maybe it's not. Maybe four times would be necessary. I don't know. Um, I think the fact that I'm planning ahead is enough. So maybe for right now, I just put in two times three, or one times, two times, and three times. And then if we need to go higher than that in the future, we can add it, you know? Not that big of a deal. Um, Wanna watch Spaceballs? We need to watch, we need to watch <laughs> the moose and fuck, what is it? I can't remember, we need to watch that documentary. We need to fucking watch that. Taste the biscuit. We need to watch it so bad. Oh my god, we need to watch it. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to start doing some flags and stuff. I'm gonna call it settled. Because we're creating this, right? We are actually specifically creating this object. Yeah, we create these. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to say... Greater than or equal to 60 plus... Set scale to appear. Sub... This is what I've had to do this whole time, is just add timer speed onto everything. Everything's just getting edited by timer speed. Um, okay. So this is going to be greater than or equal to 60 plus. We need to do a new thing, which is going to say, where's our vanquish text? Um, flag is off settled then we will set on that way that only happens once oh uh, let's see here That's lucky. This should be greater than or equal to 150 plus um,
I gotta do another flag for this. Something, I think. Got a bunch of flags. I don't, I don't wanna do that. No, I don't wanna use it there. We're just gonna do it on there. Um, add a new condition. We're gonna say plus is off the text. Flag set on in the text. Create those things. Okay. See the stuff that's like this is the dangerous stuff. Stuff that just says equals is such a problem because. <clears throat> We can't just have it be equals. Set door timer. What are we doing on door timer? Is that up above? What is that? Sorry, Super Junior Pac-Man, I didn't even see that. I was so focused. And Blaze as well. Have a wonderful evening, guys. I think this is going to be a little bit more complicated than I was thinking it was going to be. A simple thing. So I think I'm going to stop here. Um, I'm getting really tired. I'm having a hard time focusing, too. I need to get to bed. I got work tomorrow and Saturday. Um, but I'll be back on Saturday because we're going to be doing some more um, Alan Wake. Uh, how did you guys like that? Did you guys Were you enjoying it? It was one of those things where... I felt like it was going really, really good. I was really enjoying it. I know I was quiet a little bit during uh, the stream just because I was enjoying it so much. I was kind of getting sucked into it and stuff. So, um, but I hope you guys were enjoying it too. I wasn't as quite as talkative as I normally am when I when I play games and stuff like that. But it was uh, it was definitely one of those games where I just got kind of sucked into it. Uh, I'm trying to see who I can send you guys off to for right now. Oh, why Sinji does not get more viewers. It's crazy to me. He is still going? Is he really going right now? Your quiet is still fairly narrative. Oh, okay. Well, good. I hope it wasn't too scary for you, Molly, either. <laughs> Being all creeped out there. But I was having a lot of fun with the game. It, it is good. It is good. And I, I, I think I'm remembering little bits of the story. But uh, I'm curious to where it's going to go. Because I don't... Uh, I don't remember everything about it, you know? Uh... Now it's getting ready to rain out. <laughs> uh, I was literally getting ready to rain. I actually thought about raiding you guys too. I just thought about raiding. No, it's fine. It's fine. It happens. I'm getting ready to end because I am so tired too. Um, but if you guys haven't done it yet, um, I'm hoping this works again. Go follow them. They are. That's why I have to type a shout out. This new thing is so weird. There we go. Um, if you haven't followed them, go follow Keonce and their friend when they play um, games together on Queer Queens. They are very nice, very fun. Uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much for the raid. I'm sorry that I'm getting ready to raid out. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, but I'm going to send you guys over to... Um, Flip switch. I mentioned him earlier in the night when we got that big raid earlier. Um, so let's go say hi to Flip Switch. He's working on, I think he's working on this project now. He tends to, 
I really like Flip Switch because he's just very casual. Um, he streams game dev and click team fusion like I do. But sometimes, man, he will just get distracted for like a half hour or so. Just like right now, he's looking at Steam. <laughs> I mean, I can't say I'm not guilty of that here, too. So, um, but he's a super nice dude. Always really, really appreciate him. Um, that is that is a wonderful combination. Holy shit. <laughs> the sunglasses on the boss comfy. Um, but yeah, no, he's really cool. I typically will just like, if he's streaming during the day when I'm at work, I will just put him on before like Linux starts streaming or anybody that I, you know, really, really want to focus on. But I usually love keeping him on because he just, like I said, he's just fun to chat with. Um, right now he's actually trying to get his game put up on Kickstarter, uh, his Magnet Jack game. He's trying to get it up on Kickstarter because, um, he can hopefully secure some funds to help him develop the game. Uh, he's putting a lot of work into this game, honestly, and he's very good at programming stuff in Click Team Fusion. His, um, his other game, um, Home Grove looks phenomenal. Like, I'm really just amazed at everything he's done with that game in Click Team Fusion. But anyway, I will catch you guys on... Uh, Saturday, we're going to be doing more All in Wake. We're going to try to get through the next couple chapters in the game. Uh, so I hope you'll join me then. And uh, I will catch you then. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining me so much. Say hi to Flip when, I, when you get over there. And I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.